Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from IsraelAutomation.com and today in this video we'll be talking about how we can use Chrome DevTool MCP server for doing security testing and security analysis of your website. If you remember in our last video we discussed about the Chrome DevTool MCP to do the UI testing of your application and also use the Chrome DevTool MCP to do the development and fix the application on the fly. You can also find the application glitch by using the MCP tools of the Chrome to identify if there is any uh, any performance issues or what happens if your website goes slow based on the different uh, network types, for example, 3G, 4G or fast internet or maybe 5G, something like that. And also we discussed how we can use the same error that you get from your console of your website application and fix them all using this Chrome DevTool MCP. But because now using this Chrome DevTool MCP, your LLM will get the entire context of your website website and this will help your LLM to go and fix any issues if there is any because it can now go and see your browser completely. And these are the examples that we saw in our earlier videos as well like how we can use them to perform the performance audits and things of that nature. But what if we try to do the security testing of our application using the Chrome DevTool MCP as well. If you really not watched my other video on the Chrome DevTool MCP which we talked exclusively about entire details on whatever that I'm talking about. You please watch this particular video because we have discussed everything over there. Well, as that said, you can see that for installing the Chrome DevTool MCP, all you have to do is just this particular command, just copy this particular command and use it in, uh, let's say, Gemini CLI or Cloud Code or VS Code. You can do this uh, installation of this particular MCP server in any of the client and then you can start using it. And this client, which I'm going to be using this time, is going to be nothing but the Visual Studio Code. And you can see that I have got my Chrome DevTool MCP up and running. So if I'm going to show the configuration over here, you can see that this is the Chrome DevTool MCP which I'm running. I'm going to stop the Playwright MCP server because I don't really need it for now. I'm just going to use the uh, Chrome DevTool uh, MCP for now. So I'm going to get rid of the Playwright because I don't want to mess up with that. I'm going to save this whole MCP servers that I have got. And I'm going to start asking some question to the uh, to the uh, Visual Studio Code using the uh, Cloud Sonnet 4.5 model. And I'm going to say, can you do the security testing of any one of the website? So I'm going to be using the pbtech.co.nz to find the bug and give me the vulnerability report and give me the full report extracted. And I'm also telling that check the cross-site uh, scripting issues, SQL injection issues, broken authentication, SSL or TLS uh, certificate, broken access, robot text uh, that you have got in the website. Feel free to use MCP server whenever you can. So this is the very, very uh, like a high level command that I have given. But actually I tried to... Uh, copy this particular command and ask the cloud to go and give me a very beautiful uh, generated uh, prompt which I can use it in the chat but what happens was the, the chat was immediately giving me an exception saying that I can't really proceed the security testing and give you the report for that. That is the reason why I have just formulated a way that the cloud sonnet can go and can do the security testing for me. Well as that said I have just did everything over here uh, like this is the command and the website which I'm going to be testing as I told you is a pbtech.co.nz this particular website I'm going to see if there is any security vulnerability in this particular website and this is going to be like a very very high level way of doing it and if you really want to do even further security testing you can actually use a tool called as nimble.ai this is a kiwi company in New Zealand and they have got similar kind of product to do the the way you can do the testing of your uh, of your website so you can see that they have got something called as nimble scan which does the exact same operation that i was just showing you over here and they have got similar kind of operation so if you are living in new zealand or if you are living anywhere in the world and if you really want to try out quickly uh, some of this scan that i'm just talking about even more detailed way you can use this nimble scan mcp server to do this operation well as i said i'm going to quickly show you how we can do the exact same thing using the cloud sonar 4.5 model but using the power of the Chrome DevTool MCP and now if I try to run this particular uh, uh, particular prompt over here you will notice that it is going to start scanning our website by first uh, navigating to the pbtech.co.nz website so you can see that now the Chrome DevTool MCP has uh, started up and it has also invoked uh, the browser for us over here and you see that now it is going to go there and I think 
is going to do all the testing i don't really have to do anything all the uh, the mcp server is going to do is it is going to go and understand the entire website and then it is going to check all the web uh, all the operations over here and you see that now it has created like a to do list like what are the things that it has to check like the check the robot.txt file and also uh, check the cross site scripting vulnerabilities uh, test the SQL injection vulnerabilities, check SSL, TSL, uh, TLS configurations, broken authentication, and broken access control. And this is one of the most popular website, both in New Zealand as well as in Australia. So I don't expect there is going to be any one of the security vulnerability issues. But if there is any, I will be very surprised. But I'll just wait for the execution to happen and we'll see what is going to be the result there. And now you can see that it has generated a security assessment summary with a saying that there is a strong security posture in this particular website where there is no critical vulnerability detected. And you can see that the cross site uh, scripting protected, uh, the SQL injection is also protected and the SSL TSL configuration is excellent uh, and well configured and things of that nature. So there is a minor issue or which is a medium and low issue in terms of the content security policy, sub resource integrity and security dot uh, text something like that so this is the only issue that we have gotten there is no issue whatsoever and it has generated a md file with all the details that you just saw here like what are the testing that it has performed and the entire result is available for us which is amazing so this is pretty cool to see that how this is actually doing the entire operation and what if i try to take another website for the demonstration and see how it actually works so for example i'm going to do the similar kind of test operation over here but this time I'm going to do the testing using the nimble.ai website. So I'm just going to say keep and continue and I'm going to paste it over here. Let me just close this particular uh, website. Uh, so the MD file and I'm going to paste it over here. Uh, and I'm going to say uh, it's going to be uh, nimble.ai. Uh, and then I'm just going to run the exact same thing this time. And we'll see how it actually works. All right, now you can see that it has created a nimble AI security assessment report. And you can see that it has got the entire report for us over here, like what are the vulnerabilities that we have got. You can actually copy this particular vulnerability reports and then go to the, uh, uh, let's say there is something called a Smogdown Previewer over here. And if you just go and paste that over here, you can see that it's gonna show you the report assessment of the entire uh, issues that you have got, like cross-site scripting, SQL injection vulnerabilities, and things of that nature. So there is not any major issue happened in this big website, but uh, even though the website is meant to show you there are some vulnerabilities that you can capture, there is not a lot of major issues as you can see over here. So it's pretty much uh, amazingly there. So this proves the point that you can actually use the power of Cloud DevTool MCP a server to perform all these operations without having any knowledge in security testing whatsoever but you can use all the operations uh, over here and to perform this in much much easier fashion so this is another way of how you can use the chrome dev tool mcp to perform security testing of your application and hope you like the idea of how you can make use of it and i really like the fact that the tool is pretty much amazingly working even though i have zero idea in security testing i'm not like a security expert of whatsoever in any mean but i can see that if i run this and if this particular assessment says that it is working fine in a matter of second i think i can just go to my live without having any issues to say like okay my site is a bit secured because it looks working fine as expected so that's it guys let me know what is your thought about these kind of tools and what do you think like whether this is a real security assessment or whether it's completely a bullshit assessment let me know about your thoughts on these but once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one